Jason and Trina! <laughs> of Eden. Increase the electricity. But it'll become unstable, sir. You heard what Miss Thorne said. We need results now. Time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Sarek. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one too. We fight. 
to gain what we cannot take with us. It's in our nature. Was that explosion? What explosion? EV. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> there was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all, a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. But the Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah, the gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father. You could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry, you might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. <laughs> Our latest acquisition from Abstergo. 
but I want to check in on Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Call Dr. Grammatica. Come on. Who is a pal? What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> the churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> <gasps> Oi, watch it. Beg pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! Jacob, stop! Mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. This I'll is break your spell. Enjoy. does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race you to the highest vantage point. There's been a murder! You're going to lose again. Not on my watch!
Where is Mr. Green's shop located? It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height, one female, one male. Two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. 